Hey guys, I'm our Minecraft, and today I'm back with a new video. So, what I got for you today is an on off nether portal. It's really simple. You flick the lever and it turns on, you flick it again and it turns off. Yep, now let's see how to build it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm back, I'm back to Redstone and I'm back to YouTube, uh, what can I say, uh, sorry, I'm really sorry for not uploading anything in like the past 4 months maybe, it's been such a long time and I, I, I don't have a real excuse, like basically what happened to me is I lost interest in Redstone, I got tired of it. I still watch videos, but I didn't want to build anything, I don't know, I just, uh, I got tired of it. Plus, I had not a lot of time, I still had lots of work from school, and I needed to focus on it, and yeah, both things made me not want to do anything related to Redstone, basically. But that's gone, still is, uh, like, school is still going, but my interest in Redstone uh, came back and I'm just going to try to upload sometime. I'm not saying I'm uploading weekly, that's for sure, but I will try to upload things and tutorials, even showcases or some edits if I can. I don't know, I'm going to try to do that. Anyway, today I have a 1.11 uh, feature, construction, sorry, and that's because it uses observers as you can see. Uh, does that mean I'm always going to upload things with observers? No. I still love old school Redstone, and even though I think observers are really useful, I still want to do things like 1.7 compatible and stuff like that, so that's what I'm going to do for sure. Anyways, now let's show you how to build this thing. First of all, you will need some Redstone dust, you will need one observer block, you will also need a sticky piston with a Redstone block on it, you will also need building blocks like to build the conception, obsidian to build the portal, portal. You will also need a dispenser with flint and steel, and a dispenser with a lava bucket, and finally a lever to power it all up. So, first of all, you will have to place a block in here, which will be your input block, and next to it, you will place first of all a flint and like a dispenser with flint and steel and then a dispenser with a lava bucket. Then, we will have to be quick on here. You will have to place a dispenser in, sorry, a observer in here with a block, then a person block. Okay, and I'm going to quickly stop this from falling. Okay. And, okay, now it should work fine. I'm not sure though, cause like, lava buckets and dispensers you never know, but if you flick it, oh, okay, it worked. The dispenser, uh, s uh, like, fires the flint and steel and it powers the portal, and if you flick it again, yes, it breaks the portal and the lava is returned to the dispenser. Okay, so, as you can see, this is really compact, it's just 8 blocks in total, if you count it like that, it's 4 blocks, four blocks, one wide, two tall, four long. Really compact. The cool feature about that is since all these blocks are full blocks, you can place the dispensers in this, like in this height if you want to, and then what will happen is you will have an observer like in here, which doesn't look as pretty, but like if you want it like to look this good which is a bit better than having the the dispensers like this high you can do that and nothing will happen 
Another thing you should know is if you place a lever in here instead of here, you can do that with no problem, but you will have to place a person a person torch in here, like to connect it. And then it will be like uh inverted if you flick it it oh that's weird, that never happens. If you flick it it closes, if you uh unpower it it opens. Uh, it's up to you. I prefer to have it like here because it makes more sense. But at the same time, this looks better. You can also, you know, take a repeater output from there. Uh, remember, it has to be a repeater because if not, this will be redirected and it could be a bit of a mess. You can still do it, but I prefer to have a repeater in there. Anyways, let's turn this off. Oh, it's so annoying, the sound. Uh, that's basically it for today. It's really simple, I know. I'm going to try to make things like more complicated, but I don't know. I like simple but useful stuff, and this is an example of it. I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, that thing that everyone says. Anyway, I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye.